Sister Mary Bertucci, a Mary Nell sister. I'm director and founder of Emosoy Center. I've been a member of Mary Nell for 56 years, and 49 of those years I've lived and worked in Tanzania. Among the Maasai communities, I see a rise in uh, awareness among the women especially. When we first started in Mosoi, that was in 1999, maybe 20 Maasai girls in the whole country had a chance to go on to secondary education. So, I mean, you had a very small number of girls in, in a population that was over a million people to uh, go to secondary school. The few, one or two, that passed to go to government school and that started school most times did not finish because they were married off in the middle of their, of their school year. They got pregnant, they had to drop out of school. The Emosoy Center was started by myself and another Maasai woman as we educate Maasai and uh, other pastoralist girls to get ready for secondary school and to go on to secondary school and then from there uh, go on to further education. I was interested in work in, 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 in the world and to be helping people who are in need. It was just this call, somehow go beyond my own culture to, to helping people who are in need. And um, I was always interested in, in other culture. Okay, the day-to-day -day life of a girl uh, living in the village is, uh, is one where she's working with her mother. So uh, from when she's maybe old enough to be walking and talking and around, she'll be carrying her younger brother or sister on, on her back, uh, helping her mother. She goes out to collect firewood. She goes out to collect water. She probably then helps her mother also do the uh, milking of the cows in the morning and in the evening. So she's just uh, shadowing her mother. So. I started Emosoi with the, with the idea that we would try to um, increase the opportunities for, for girls to go to school. When I came to Emsoi at the first time, I felt like I was in safe hands, in safe house. It's like I had a, a very different life from that moment onwards because I felt like, wow, now I can sit and with someone and talk to him freely and um, take a simango from Monduli. Narusha district is far from the town and traditional life uh, and customs sometimes are challenging uh, young women there like no access to secondary school so you don't get someone to encourage you about your education about your school and sometimes our tradition and cultures are not friendly to education. Any challenges of men of getting early married, of getting early pregnancy, because here it's safe, so it is very important for the girls to stay here so that they can change their life, so that they can get education, which to lay down to change their life. Senyati is a librarian who went to, uh, through our program here in, in, uh, at Emosoi. I would say she's very much a role model. We have a lot of girls from her village or from that area that are here at Emosoi. So for them to see her, to see that she was able to finish school, she chose her own husband, she got married, she has a child. 
this is what we would hope for, for for many of the girls that finish here. My life has, has improved. Yeah, I can now develop myself. I can now develop my, my, my family. Yeah, I can help, even help my relatives through the way I'm working, through my education, through my financially. The enrichment class is kind of the heart of what we want the girls to experience as they're moving through this transitional year. Uh, it starts with who they are, also what their rights are. If they're coming straight from the village, they don't know themselves, they, they don't know even what they, will, they think because they haven't been encouraged to think for themselves. Um, I, I see the future the bright future ahead because I got education, I got my basic rights, you see. Economically also, uh, you can now support your relatives. You can support your neighbors, anyone who wants. You can also support your own parents instead of begging them or begging someone else. Welcome to our home at Moita Wawani village in Arusha, Tanzania. That's my, my parents' house, which I helped them to build in terms of idea, yes, design, mm, financially. So this shows the importance of education I got from Msoi Center. So I encourage my fellow students uh, who are still studying to remember their parents and families when they finish school, that it is important to come back and give to the community. My, my hope for Emosoi is that these girls, as they get educated, really look at their own culture and what are the really um, positive values there that they can put together, and yet what things need to be changed and what things will, will be changed just because of the, the, the whole pressure of globalization. And if the, if the Maasai don't move along with that, they're, they're going to be extinct. Um, even though they're, they're a big number, but it's still trying to change their culture from within and yet keep what is really valuable. Without education, you, won't, you are not free. You are not free at, at all because you will depend on someone else. That is a problem. Women have power, women can change lives, women are the ones who can do many things in, in the community, in life, in the country, in the, in the nation at general.